Hi, um, welcome to uh, Odes tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how to create an account at Odes and some basic uh, stuff um, that you need to know when you're starting. Now, first off, we're here at my Sulit.com page where you probably found my ad about Odes. I will be putting this um, URL later on on the description box of this video so that for those who doesn't know for those who don't know about Odes yet you could just um, browse it browse the things about here at my page now you will want to click this um, banner for providers if you want to start earning now once you click that you will be directed to my profile. That's me. <laughs> anyway, so for this, you would like to, you would want to click the uh, create an account. This one, this link, and then you will be directed to this page. Get started. Now you will want to click freelance provider. Get started as a freelance provider if you want to earn money. Okay, hold on. I'll just um, log in. So I could um, show you a lot of a lot more things later on. Anyway, there. So here's the first um, form that you will need to fill it fill up. You will need to uh, fill this up everything, and then afterwards, uh, now here you need to put your email address, and then you'll click continue, and then and a verification email will be sent to your email address that you typed in here and afterwards you will be given a link where you would continue your sign up process I can't show you that anymore because I already have an account so I can't um, well it's going to be really easy there will be instructions for you so you can just follow those instructions up I'm gonna close this one out now once you already have your account you will be when you sign in you will be uh, directed to this page to your candidacies page now these are the jobs that I've applied for I have inactive candid can candidacies which 82 inactive ones these are the jobs that uh, I have applied for but um, it's either uh, they hired me or they, they rejected me oh, okay now here's the job title now status is still candidate because they haven't invited me yet for an interview or they haven't hired me yet but when you get an invitation for an interview your status will be changed to interview this one invites to interview this uh, a buyer invited me for an interview for this project by, but I haven't accepted it or declined it yet now this is the type you can see that you have the fixed type and the early type when you say fixed the buyer will be, be uh, will be will be will, will be providing <laughs> an, um, an amount uh, a certain amount for the project which in this case is two fifty dollars for the entire project now my bid was also two fifty but since Odisk um, charges uh, ten dollars uh, like Odisk fee um, it's 277 here but still I will be paid 250 if they accept me for this project now I will show you how to find jobs because that's really important now you'll need to you, you can find it here okay oh yeah job results usually um, you'll get to this kind of page where are specific job offers but of course you would like to search for jobs that would be appropriate for your skill skills so you need to click this link excuse me choose a job category or skill and you'll be directed to here a lot of uh, categories for jobs now for example you want to apply for a job under the writing and translation category now you can still choose sub, uh, from the subcategories there now let's try blog and article writing and you'll be directed to the list of jobs available here under the 
right jobs okay now for example I would like to apply for this one I would click more to find out more about this job offering this is just an overview of the uh, description so when you click more you'll see the uh, actual page for the job posting here you can find the entire description for the job and here candidates means that two uh, two providers already applied for this shot with their bid of five dollars per hour interviews not yet so if you're interested with this job for for example you click apply and then you have here the space for your cover letter you can have you can see an example of a uh, good cover letter here you could um, make yourself you, you can make one yourself uh, you can just um, um, have this as a guide but you can't copy this and you can pass this exactly as it is and and after making your cover letter you will need to click this one Oh, here you can atta attach um, previous works if you haven't uploaded them on your portfolio. But you ca uh, you don't need to upload your um, you don't need to uplo upload your resume already because it's in your profile already. And then apply to this job. Hold on. For example, you want to apply for this job. Click that one, and then you'll be directed to this one wherein you can bid higher six dollars or you can bid lower seven dollars oh, so lower <laughs> two dollars okay and then just click apply but I won't be applying for that one so now we're, we're here on the tests page if you want to be if uh, of course um, before you can start applying for jobs you need to take the uh, Odesk readiness test you can find this page by hovering over here again find jobs and find providers and jobs and then click tests and then you will be directed here at this page now here's the oldest readiness test for independent contract contra contractors and company managers now if you just click that one you'll be directed here <laughs> not yet the test and then start test click the start test and then not yet the test again continue and then click here to start your test and your test will begin the answers are really easy so I can't make a video for the answers because I think that's illegal so just send me a private message at my page at sulit.com if you want to know about uh, if you want to know the answers to those questions so there it is. Basic things you need to know about Odesk setting up an account. So uh, have fun and enjoy earning.